So there is a fixture which is uh, two feet in diameter, has two circular fluorescents, and this is the ballast. The ballast comes in this white cover, okay? And uh, you can just take it apart with a screwdriver uh, on the edges so it pops open. What was happening is this capacitor, let's see if I can actually focus even. Well, it does not want to focus very good. Anyway, this capacitor, as you can see, this is bulging and the chemical uh, leaked out all over. So what I did is I took alcohol and I cleaned it really, really good. And then to make sure that it works, um, then I uh, found a capacitor of the exact same value, which was uh, 68 uh, microfarad. And I put in 68 micro uh, and 200 volts. And I put in a 68 microfarad 450 volts. And so uh, this, uh, the only problem is that it's a little too tall. So what I did is to, for temporary reason, I... I just drilled a hole basically through here after I marked it where it goes and then this cover is going to go just over it like that and that's going to be it. So it's not a big of a deal and it's working. But there was another problem and the other problem was there was a 2 amp fuse right over here and it was really short and it didn't look very good. Uh, I measured it and sure enough it it was blown so I replaced it with also uh, 2 amp uh, but I had to solder wires uh, to both ends so I can put them in there because the other had this little cap inside and uh, uh, the cap was smaller than uh, our fuses here in the US so um, I'm gonna turn it right back uh, into one unit and I'll uh, show it to you guys that it's running. And as you can see, it is working like a charm. Quite a bit of uh, light you get. And uh, it has a diffuser, which is right over there. So by the time I get it done, it will look like brand new. <laughs> but this is just temporary. I have to order the... Uh, the correct height, uh, correct size of that uh, capacitor. Uh, but make sure that you also check the fuse and that you can do just with a simple voltmeter. Good luck to you if you ever do it. Uh, 110 volts, 120 volts is deadly. So uh, people who don't know what they're doing, they should never touch any of this. Also, there is polarity to the capacitor. The plus must go to plus and minus to minus. And... Uh, you have to know what you're doing, so don't do it unless you are under supervision or doing it with somebody who knows what they're doing. Have a great day.